Hey there everyone, Dan from Creepy Creations and just thought we'd give you a quick update on our timer circuit that we've been working with. Uh, we've got it finished and here's one of our little motion sensors that I've got wired up through 30 feet of cable through a jack into my jack panel which is wired up to our timer circuit here. So I'm going to apply some power just to get this thing fired up and you'll notice that some, but not all, of the timers are randomly fire when the power comes on. That's normal behavior. They won't all do it, but most of the time they will. And you can see them going through the timing cycle. And now that we got the last light off, the board is in a stable state and we're ready to do some testing. Now these modules uh, have to be allowed to sort of warm up for a few seconds before you actually get any kind of a trigger off of them. Otherwise, nothing happens. But we've got enough time now so this one I've got kind of buried in a roll of solder over here just to keep it uh, covered up mostly and I'm now going to trigger it and see that when it triggers we get our short timer there and then a longer window timer at the top there and once it's finished I can then trigger it again and it's timing now while that yellow one is still on I can go like mad and nothing will happen until that one's actually finished. Now that it's out, it triggers, and there you go. So, hope you find that useful, and uh, it definitely works. Word of warning, these little guys, very sensitive. So, one thing we've learned, don't plug them in and out with the power on. Seems to cook them, poor little guy.